Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Lei Tui from Beihao University. I'd like to present our work, uh, how to restore a fast restore system for virtual machine cluster. Uh, now we'll introduce the background first. Uh, we know that the virtual machine cluster is one key computing paradigm in cloud because it provides more powerful capacity and some other features such as isolation and uh, scalability. But one problem in large-scale cloud is that the failures uh, become much common nowadays because the cloud always utilizes tens of thousands of community devices. This table shows that the annual failure rate of the community device. Uh, for example, the, the computer node suffers about 20% to 60% uh, pro processor. Uh, this means if a uh, physical server has 32 cores, it may crash every month. One approach to tolerate failures is snapshot and restore. It saves the, <coughs> it saves the running state and restores the system from the immediate state upon failures. Consider that one virtual machine failure may lead to the restoration of the entire cluster. We, I'm sorry. We, oh. we believe that the cluster restoration occurs frequently to survive from failures. So what, what's the problems of the current uh, restoration scales? Uh, for a single virtual machine, we need to retrieve the entire memory state, and the state, state size may be up to dozens of gigabytes. So the time to resume the virtual machine is long. For a cluster, the latencies of virtual machines are always various due to the heterogeneity of virtual machines and uh, varieties of workloads. The difference, the difference between the, the latencies may lead to the network interruption. This picture shows an example. Uh, we can see that uh, VM1 started at this time and sent a packet to VM2, but VM2 is still restoring, so it cannot receive the packet or make the, rep make the reply. So VM1 will resend the packet after timeout until VM2 started. Uh, for reliable TCP protocol, this will lead to the TCP backoff problem. We conducted an experiment to show the problem. We set up a cluster with 12 virtual machines and used disk CC to compile the Linux kernel. This picture shows the result. Uh, the y axis shows the time, and the gray bit shows the rest of latency. We can see the latency exceeds 60 sec seconds. Besides, uh, the latencies are always various. For example, the difference between VM6 and VM7 which is about 20 seconds. Uh, the, the VM6 is the, the disk CC client in this example. So although the other virtual machines have started since the 60 second, the, the disk CC workload could, would not start until the C, VM6 starts. Uh, so we try to solve the problem from two aspects. One is to reduce the restoration latency of a single virtual machine. And another is we hope to minimize the discrepancy of latencies between communicating virtual machines. So our solution contains two parts. The first part is el elastic working set. We know that the virtual machine will re execute the instructions from the checkpoint state after recovery. So the touched pieces during the checkpoint would be touched again. And uh, the prior touched pieces would be touched preferentially. Besides, memory access <coughs> locality is one common feature in applications, so the touched pieces take a little fraction of the entire memory state. So I <coughs> our idea is to trace the memory operation during checkpoint, treat these touched pieces as working set candidates and uh, load the working set rather than the entire memory. To trace the touched pieces, we adopt post-copy based snapshot. We set the read-write operation protection flag over the page table entries, and uh, for a for a write uh, for a memory write operation, we uh, we save the page content into the di into the storage and record the page frame number in the queue. For a memory read operation, we only record the 
number into the queue. The queue is formed in a first access, a uh, first load manner. So this feature will enable the working set to scale up or scale down easily. And, and we can fetch the memory pieces in any size on demand. Uh, this feature is very important for restoring a cluster and we will describe later. Uh, another part is a rest line. It arranges the start order of the virtual machines. The basic idea is if, sorry, uh, if the receiver starts before the sender, then network interruption would disappear. So the rest of line is communication induced. <coughs> to restore, <coughs> to, to build the rest of line, uh, we first build the rest of dependency graph from the time space execution. The rule is if, the, if A send a packet to B, then we name A depend on B, and B should start before A. For example, VM2 and VM4 send a packet to VM3, so VM3 in the graph is dependent by VM2 and 4. The dependency in the graph is transitive, and the ring is allowed. Uh, in this graph, VM1, 2, and 3 form a ring. Uh, finally, the rest of line can be calculated from the graph by the following rules. Uh, if A depend on B, then B will start first. And if A and B are in ring, then they would start simultaneously. And an often node such as when file can start freely. Uh, <coughs> now we have get two orders. The first order is the virtual machines by the carality in the rest of line. It is communication induced. And the second order is the virtual machines by the working size. <coughs> but the two orders may be inconsistent. Uh, we use the weighted RDJ to show the case. The, the node value in the weighted RDJ is, uh, is the size of the virtual machine. In the working set size order, the VM2 should start first because the size, its size is the lowest. And then VM4, whose size is bigger, and finally VM1, whose size is the largest. But in the rest of the line, VM3 should start first because it is dependent by VM2 and VM4. So we need to revise the working set size to make the two orders be consistent. And to, to, uh, to revise the working set size, we first we should keep the carality in the rest of the line and uh, the size modification should be minimized because if we revise a size to be larger, the, the, the latest thing to resume a single virtual machine would be longer. And if we revise the size to be smaller, it will, make <coughs> it will incur more page fault and uh, impose performance loss. This problem can be solved by the linear program approach. So finally, we get the final working set size of the virtual machines. And we have, imp we have implement uh, how to use the on QM QM platform. Uh, next, I will show some key experimental result. The first result shows the working set size. This table shows that we just load dinosaur or megabytes date upon restoration, while the native approach that retrieves all the memory, all the state may uh, be on the gigabytes. And uh, our method achieves about a 94% reduction. Next, we provide a backup duration. We set up a cluster. Uh, we use Elasticsearch and uh, DiskCC to show the case. The right uh, picture shows the backup duration and the Elasticsearch. The gray bar is the latency, and the red bar shows the backup duration. Uh, we can see that our approach uh, both reduces the latency and, uh, and the duration is also reduced to a few milliseconds. Uh, the third experiment, we provide a pro application performance. And we use, uh, also use the elastic search and uh, run 10 clients to query blocks concurrently and repeatedly. We measure the response time for each cycle. Uh, the, red, the red line shows the method with re working set restore. The, the response time is high because uh, the virtual machines after restoration cannot communicate with each other. So they cannot join the elastic search server to provide service. So the response time is high, but our method reduces the latency. 
uh, and the back of problem. So the response time is low. Uh, finally, uh, I conclude the work. We propose how to restore it, use elastic working set to reduce the restore latency and uh, propose IDG based rest line to minimize the discrepancy of lattices on biso casualty. And our, remount, our, and our results show that the VMC can resume within a few seconds rather than minutes. And uh, our future work include evaluate how to restore on non-deterministic SMP virtual machines and uh, provide the overall performance when multi snapshots and one restoration are, are conducted. And uh, thank you, this is my work. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Did you hear that question, or do I need to repeat it? Oh, I know that. Uh, <clears throat> no, nigga. Uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's two more slides up. I think. Uh, Actually, we record the, the packet during snapshot. Okay, so you grab it during the snapshot. So, uh, and we replace this packet after restoration. Okay. So the dependency is resolved. So you got it already. Uh, okay. Yes. I was wondering how you're building that dependency model. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.